my precious child. I see the weight upon your heart, the countless thoughts swirling in your mind like leaves caught in a tempest. The burdens you carry are not hidden from my sight, for I am intimately aware of every struggle, every fear, and every doubt that plagues your spirit. In this moment, as you feel the crushing pressure of life's demands, I want you to know that you are not alone. I am here, ever-present, my love surrounding you like a shield against the storms of life. Take a deep breath and feel my presence wash over you. Let the tension in your shoulders release as you exhale, for I am inviting you to lay your troubles at my feet. You were never meant to bear these burdens alone. I created you for relationship, for communion with me. And in this sacred space, I long to lighten your load, pour out your heart to me in prayer, holding nothing back. I am not a distant deity, uninterested in the details of your life. On the contrary, I am your loving Father, eagerly awaiting every word you speak, every tear you shed, and every sigh that escapes your lips. Your concerns matter to me because you matter to me. You are my beloved creation, formed with purpose and cherished beyond measure. As you unburden your soul, remember that I am the God of provision. Throughout history, I have made ways where there seemed to be no way. I parted seas, brought water from rocks, and rained bread from heaven. My power and my willingness to provide for my children have not diminished. The same hands that set the stars in the sky are reaching out to you now, ready to meet your needs in ways you cannot yet fathom. Trust in my wisdom, for I see the bigger picture. Where you see dead ends, I see doorways. Where you perceive limitations, I see opportunities for growth. Your current circumstances are not the end of your story, but merely a chapter in the grand narrative I am writing with your life. Have faith that I am working all things together for your good, even when the path ahead seems unclear. I understand that worry has taken root in your heart. The uncertainties of life can be overwhelming, causing your mind to race with what-ifs and worst-case scenarios. But I want you to hear me clearly. I've got your back. I am your rear guard, your protector, and your defender. Nothing can come against you that I have not already foreseen and prepared you for. My plans for you are plans of hope and a future, not of harm. In moments of doubt, recall the countless times I've been faithful in your life. Remember the battles I've won on your behalf, the prayers I've answered, and the grace I've poured out even in your darkest hours. My track record in your life and throughout history stands as a testament to my unwavering commitment to my children. I'm calling you to a deeper trust, a faith that goes beyond your feelings or the visible circumstances. When you can't trace my hand, trust my heart. Know that behind every challenge lies an opportunity for you to experience my power and love in new ways. Each trial you face is a chance for your faith to be strengthened, your character to be refined, and your testimony to be enriched. As you navigate this season, I want you to shift your focus from your problems to my promises. My word is filled with assurances of my love, protection, and provision for you. Meditate on these truths daily, letting them sink deep into your spirit. Allow my promises to become the foundation upon which you stand, unmoved by the shifting sands of circumstance. Remember, my child, that you are more than a conqueror through me. The same power that raised Christ from the dead lives in you. You are not facing your challenges alone or in your own strength. My spirit dwells within you, empowering you to overcome every obstacle and to walk in victory if you want God's grace always upon you. Then please consider to support our ministry by clicking thanks button. Because this message took us a lot of efforts, I am inviting you to cast your anxieties upon me, for I care for you deeply. Picture yourself releasing each worry, each fear, into my capable hands. As you do this, feel my peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding your heart and mind. This peace is not dependent on your situation being resolved. 
It's a gift I freely give to those who trust in me. In your moments of weakness, lean on my strength. When you feel inadequate for the tasks before you, remember that my grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in weakness. I delight in using the unlikely, the overlooked, and the underestimated to accomplish my purposes. Your perceived shortcomings are opportunities for my glory to be displayed in and through your life. As you walk this journey, I want you to know that I am not just working on your circumstances, I am working on you. Every challenge you face is an opportunity for growth, for your character to be molded more into my image. Trust the process, even when it's uncomfortable. Like a skilled potter, I am shaping you with loving hands, creating a masterpiece that will reflect my glory. Don't be discouraged by setbacks or delays. My timing is perfect. Even when it doesn't align with your expectations, what may seem like a detour is often the very path I've chosen to lead you to your destiny. Embrace each day as a gift, an opportunity to see my hand at work in ways you might have missed if everything had gone according to your plan. I want you to live with expectancy, anticipating the good things I have in store for you. Your future is bright because I hold it in my hands. The dreams I've placed in your heart are seeds that I intend to bring to fruition. Water them with faith, nurture them with obedience, and watch as I bring forth a harvest beyond your wildest imagination. In your interactions with others, be a beacon of my love and grace. The burdens you carry may be heavy, but you have the capacity to lighten the load of those around you. As you extend kindness, offer forgiveness, and share the hope that is within you, you become a living testimony of my work in your life. Your struggles, when surrendered to me, become the very things I use to comfort and encourage others. I'm calling you to a life of bold faith, to step out of the boat and walk on waters of impossibility. When doubts creep in, fix your eyes on me. I am the author and perfecter of your faith, cheering you on as you take each step forward. Your willingness to trust me in the face of uncertainty brings joy to my heart and terror to the enemy of your soul. As you press on, remember that you are part of a larger story, my story of redemption and restoration for all of creation. Your life, with all its ups and downs, is woven into this grand tapestry. The challenges you overcome, the faith you demonstrate, and the love you share all contribute to the beautiful picture I am creating. I want you to embrace your identity as my child fully. You are not defined by your mistakes, your shortcomings, or the opinions of others. You are defined by my love for you, a love so vast that I sent my son to bridge the gap between us. Let this truth sink deep into your soul. You are forgiven, you are accepted, and you are deeply loved, not because of anything you've done, but because of who I am. In moments when you feel invisible or overlooked, remember that I see you. I see every tear, every silent prayer, every act of obedience done in secret. Nothing escapes my loving gaze. You are always on my mind, and my thoughts toward you are countless and precious. Take comfort in knowing that you are never forgotten or forsaken. I am inviting you to dream big, to align your heart with my purposes. The desires I've placed within you are not too grand or too insignificant for me to fulfill. Bring your aspirations before me in prayer, surrendering them to my will. Watch as I take your willing heart and create opportunities that exceed your expectations. Type Amen in the comments and don't forget to share this message with up to three people so that God can help you as you navigate relationships. Seek my wisdom. I desire for you to experience deep, meaningful connections with others. Yet, I also want you to find your ultimate satisfaction in me. Let me heal the wounds of past hurts, restore your ability to trust, and guide you in establishing healthy boundaries. Through your relationships, both the joyful and the challenging ones, I am teaching you more about my unconditional love. Don't be afraid to rest in my presence, in a world that often equates busyness with worth. I am calling you to find your value in being my child. 
set aside time to be still, to listen for my voice, and to simply enjoy my company. It's in these quiet moments that I often speak most clearly, refreshing your spirit and realigning your priorities. When you stumble or make mistakes, and you will, for you are human, don't let shame keep you from running back to me. My arms are always open, ready to receive you. My forgiveness is complete and my grace is abundant. Each time you fall and get back up, you're growing stronger, learning to rely more fully on my strength rather than your own. I want you to live with an eternal perspective. The trials you face today are temporary, but their impact on your character and faith can have everlasting significance. Store up treasures in heaven by investing in what truly matters, your relationship with me, acts of love and service to others, and the spread of my kingdom message. As you walk through valleys of shadow, know that I am with you. My rod and staff are not just symbols. They are active tools of comfort and guidance in your life. Let my presence dispel your fears, for even in the darkest times, I am working to bring light and life. These seasons, though difficult, often become the backdrop for the most powerful testimonies of my faithfulness. I am calling you to be courageous, dumb, to step out in faith even when the outcome is uncertain. Remember, courage isn't the absence of fear. It's moving forward despite it, trusting in my presence and provision. As you exercise your faith muscles, you'll find them growing stronger enabling you to face even greater challenges with confidence in me. Don't compare your journey to others. The path I've set before you is uniquely designed for your growth and my glory. Celebrate the successes of those around you while remaining focused on the race I've called you to run. Your story is still unfolding, and I delight in surprising you with unexpected twists and turns that showcase my creativity and love. In times of decision-making, Seek my guidance. I promise to direct your paths as you acknowledge me in all your ways. My wisdom is available to you. All you need to do is ask. Trust that even when you can't see the entire staircase, I'm asking you to take the first step in faith, knowing that I will illuminate each step as you need it. I want you to live with a heart of gratitude, even in challenging times. Thankfulness opens your eyes to see my blessings and shifts your focus from what you lack to the abundance you already possess. As you cultivate a grateful heart, you'll find your perspective changing, joy increasing, and your faith strengthening. Remember that you are part of a larger family, my church. Surround yourself with fellow believers who can encourage you, pray for you, and remind you of my truths when you struggle to see them. In community, you'll find strength, accountability, and opportunities to use your gifts to build up others. I am calling you to be a light in the darkness, to let your life shine as a testimony of my transforming power. Your struggles and victories, when shared with wisdom and humility, can become a source of hope for others who are walking through similar valleys. Don't underestimate the impact your story can have when surrendered to me. As you pursue your calling, Remember that your primary purpose is to know me and to make me known. Everything else flows from this relationship. Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, and trust that I will add everything else you need. Your vocation, your relationships, your talents, all of these are avenues through which you can glorify me and serve others. My child, pause the video and click the subscribe button to join me. I want you to live with open hands ready to receive my blessings and equally ready to release what I ask you to let go. Sometimes, my greatest gifts come disguised as losses or unanswered prayers. Trust that I see the full picture and that my no's are often protection from what would ultimately harm you or detours toward something far better. In moments of joy and success, remember to give me the glory. Celebrate the victories, both big and small, recognizing that every good gift comes from me. Let your successes drive you deeper into worship and gratitude, using them as platforms to testify of my goodness and faithfulness. Don't be discouraged by slow progress. Transformation is often a gradual process, like the changing of seasons. Embrace each stage of growth. 
knowing that I am patient and that I will complete the good work I've begun in you. Your journey of faith is a marathon, not a sprint, and I am with you every step of the way. I am inviting you to see yourself through my eyes as a masterpiece created in my image, deeply loved and full of potential. Let go of the labels the world has placed on you and embrace your identity in me. You are my workmanship, created for good works that I've prepared in advance for you to do. As you face moments of decision, big or small, invite me into the process. I care about every aspect of your life and delight in guiding you. Listen for my voice in scripture, through wise counsel, and in the gentle promptings of my spirit. Trust that as you seek me, I will make your path clear. Remember that your battle is not against flesh and blood. When you face opposition or feel under attack, put on the full armor I provided for you. Stand firm in faith, knowing that the victory is already won. My power is made perfect in your weakness, and through me, you are more than a conqueror. I want you to live with a heart wide open to the needs of others. As you've experienced my comfort, be ready to comfort those around you. Your pain, when surrendered to me, can become a powerful tool for ministry. Let my love flow through you, touching lives and bringing hope to the hurting. Don't be afraid to dream big and ask for the impossible. I am able to do immeasurably more than all you can ask or imagine. Bring your boldest prayers before me, knowing that I delight in surprising my children with blessings that exceed their expectations. Your faith pleases me, and I love to respond to hearts that trust in my power and goodness. As you walk through seasons of waiting, know that I am working behind the scenes. Just as a farmer must wait patiently for his crops to grow, there are times when your role is to trust and persist in faith. Use these seasons to deepen your roots in me, knowing that at the proper time, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. I want you to approach each day as a new adventure with me. Wake up with expectancy, looking for my fingerprints in the ordinary moments of your life. I am always at work around you, inviting you to join me. Stay alert to the divine appointments I arrange, the coincidences that are actually my orchestrations. Remember that your worth is not based on your performance or achievements. You don't have to earn my love or prove yourself worthy of my attention. I love you unconditionally, not because of what you do, but because of who you are, my beloved child. Rest in this truth, letting it free you from the pressure to perform. If you believe in God, then like the video and leave a heartfelt amen in the comments. Please support our ministry by clicking the thanks button and consider joining us as a cherished member. Your generosity uplifts our mission. God bless you. I am calling you to a life of integrity, to be the same person in private as you are in public. Let your words and actions align with your professed beliefs, knowing that I see what is done in secret. As you walk in honesty and authenticity, you'll experience the freedom and peace that come from living a life of truth. In times of abundance, remember to share generously. I've blessed you to be a blessing to others as you give freely of your time resources, and love, you reflect my character to the world. Trust that as you open your hands to give, I will continue to fill them, for you cannot outgive me. Don't let past failures define your future. In my economy, nothing is wasted. Even your mistakes can be redeemed and used for good. Learn from your experiences, receive my forgiveness, and move forward with confidence. Knowing that your identity is secure in me, I want you to cultivate a life of worship, not just in song, but in every aspect of your daily life. Let your work, your relationships, and your leisure all be infused with an attitude of praise. As you live with a heart turned toward me, you'll find joy in the everyday moments and strength for the challenging ones. As you interact with those who don't yet know me, be a living example of my love and grace. Let your life be a testimony, your words seasoned with salt, always ready to give an answer for the hope that is within you. Remember, it's my kindness that leads to repentance. So reflect my heart in all your encounters. I am inviting you to partner with me in building my kingdom. 
your life, surrendered to me, becomes a powerful instrument of change in the world. Look for opportunities to serve, to speak truth in love, and to bring my light into dark places. Every act of obedience, no matter how small, ripples out into eternity. Remember that true success is measured not by the world's standards, but by your faithfulness to my calling on your life. Seek to hear, well done, good and faithful servant, rather than the fleeting applause of men. As you align your priorities with my kingdom purposes, you'll find fulfillment beyond anything the world can offer. Amen.